The images speak for themselves. That is the family of Manchester United's latest debutante, 17-year-old Alejandro Garnacho, and those are tears of joy. But who is Alejandro Garnacho? It's a very good boy. He's a very humble guy, uh, boy. He, he likes to learn. Cristiano is delighted for his teammate. Garnacho made his Premier League debut against Chelsea. He's played alongside CR7 and Lionel Messi. So what does Leo think of him? Sí, la verdad que tengo una buena muy buena relación con con él, es un chico eh, fabuloso y nos llevamos muy bien tanto dentro y fuera fuera de la cancha. Okay, you got us. That's old footage, but trust us, they get along really well. Meet Alejandro Garnacho, the wonder kid born in Spain, who plays for Manchester United and the Argentine national team. Alejandro Garnacho was born in Madrid on July 7, 2004. Therefore, he's Spanish. But as his mother was born in Argentina, Garnacho also possesses Argentine nationality. Far from being a problem for him, he embraces both nationalities and is proud of his roots. Garnacho has already played three games for Spain's U18 national team. But the Argentine head coach, Lionel Scaloni, called him up for the last two South American qualifiers. And Garnacho couldn't have been prouder. His heart has always been half Spanish, half Argentine, as he told Manchester United's website before joining up with the Argentine national team. I have dual nationality, so it was a unique opportunity for me. It will be an honor representing Argentina, just as it was at the time playing for Spain. Scaloni called up Garnacho along with other Argentine prospects, like Lazio's Luca Romero, Real Madrid's Nico Paz, and Juventus's Mateus Zule. The idea was to get them to train alongside the Albi Celeste stars and, of course, Lionel Messi. Garnacho ended up playing for the U-20 national side in their 2-2 draw against the United States. Despite having played for Argentina, Garnacho can still choose between the Albi Celeste and Spain, just like La Pulga did. Garnacho is one of the few players who can brag about having trained with both Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Despite coming through the Atletico de Madrid Academy, the forward is actually a Real Madrid supporter and plays for Manchester United. You see where this is going, right? After his latest hat-trick against Norwich, Cristiano gave the match ball to Garnaccio. Delighted with the gift, the Argentine dedicated an Instagram post to his idol and teammate. Greatest of all times, dream big guys, Cristiano. You can imagine how the Argentine press reacted. Even Sergio Aguero told him that he hadn't yet played with the best, referring to Messi. But Garnaccio's admiration is understandable. He is a Real Madrid fan who plays for Manchester United, and, above all, Cristiano is a living legend. Although we must add that Garnacho might also consider Messi as the best. During his days spent with the Argentine national team, he posted a photo with Leo, accompanied by the following caption. Dreams really do come true. Idol, Leo Messi. The goat emoji pretty much says it all. But let's be fair to poor Garnacho. After all, if the world hasn't decided who is best after 15 years, why should he? You can understand his family's emotion with his brother and father bursting into tears of joy while watching Alejandro's achieving his life goal. After scoring 23 goals in 54 games played for Manchester United's U18, U21, and U23 teams, Garnaccio finally made his Premier League debut during the 1-1 draw between United and Chelsea. Rangnick sent the Argentine on in place of Anthony Alanga for the last four minutes, and Garnaccio fulfilled his dream of playing alongside Cristiano. Even if it were only for a few minutes, the youngster shared the field with football's all-time top scorer. This was the fourth time Garnaccio had made it onto United's bench for a Premier League game. With three more PL matches to go, Garnaccio will surely aim to get more minutes under his belt. And who knows? He may soon play with Messi, too. After all, Argentina still have four games, including the South American Clasico against Brazil before the World Cup. And he's already caught Coach Scaloni's attention. Plus, another call-up to the Albi Celeste could see him choose Argentina over Spain, just as Leo did back in 2004. There's no question Garnaccio has a unique backstory. Born in Spain and growing up as a Real Madrid fan, he ended up playing for Atletico Madrid's academy and the Argentine national team. Before turning 18, he had already played in an official game with Cristiano and trained alongside Messi. Spain and Argentina want to secure his international allegiance. This story is far from over. Which national team would be the best fit for him? Should Rangnick and Eric Ten Hag give him more minutes? Let us know in the comments. Garnacho's next goal will be getting more minutes on the field. It won't be an easy task, especially with the overhaul that Ten Hag has in mind for United squad. In this video, Oh My Goal reveals 12 players that Eric Ten Hag could sign for Manchester United. Thanks for watching.